Hi, I'm Don Badan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Very excited we're going to be checking out Folkville to Beat Nick Root's Violin by Insanity Samples. Now, this Folk Fiddle 2 is an evolution behind the original Folk Fiddle that Insanity Samples has retired. This new library has all new recorded samples, and they're promising an instrument full of soul, character, and raw emotion. Insanity Samples Folk Fiddle 2 is all new samples with 6,332 samples in total, 26 different articulations, 4 mic positions with overhead, room, left, room, right, and distance, different settings for your legato transitions, as well as customization of reverb and selection of a few different convolution reverbs inside the instrument. The library does require the full version of Contact 5.8.1 or higher. It normally sells for $140. The time of putting this together was just released, and it's available now for just $70. I'll include a link to take you straight over to Insanity Samples, first thing below. All right, before we dive into a first look, I just want to play uh, Getting to Know the Instrument mock-up I did, trying to use as many different articulations in a musical context, and I did also use uh, Sound Iron's new Delphi Autumn 1958 piano, just to do a little accompaniment. It's got a lot of character, and I thought it'd be fun to go up against this folk fiddle as well. Um, just going to play this for you, so you can hear a bunch of the different articulations in action. Uh, I spent about half an hour putting this piece together. <laughs> All right, friends, I've got Folk Fiddle 2 loaded up here. You can see it's got the, what, 29 different articulations. It has four mic positions, reverb selection. There's different controls for legato settings. And we got uh, key switches up top, um, or across the bottom, I should say, to control all of our articulations. Let's dive in and listen to this a little bit, and uh, then we'll experiment as we move along through the instruments. All right, that's that first, that's the true legato with uh, vibrato and non-vibrato moving through it. And we've just got the, the default mic set up and the uh, default reverb. One thing I'd like to do here is adjust all of this. I'm going to take us to a slightly smaller reflection and just a little bit less in the verb. I'm going to turn off our distant because what I really want to hear is my mic left and close. Just see how, how intimate we can get this thing. Yeah, so let's cut reverb all the way down there. So a fairly uh, intimate sound right up front there. 
automatic rebowing you hear that throughout. Adaptive speed legato. I'm going to listen to the fast fixed. And I think when you get into programming, you got to be be able to get a little bit more um, uh, bite and expression. I don't have anything controlling expression right now. Let's listen to just the overhead. Yeah, I really like that overhead. That's got a nice, clean, balanced sound. Uh, I think these mic mixes are pretty nice, too, with left and right. I do hear that stereo. And I'm afraid what happens is so often... ...that, um... Reverb gets cranked way too much uh, up in a solo instrument like this when you really want to be able to hear the clarity. And notes. Let's move on to this um, longs and poly. Then we've got expressive longs. Oops. Brushed staccatos. Yeah, there's some really nice sampling of this. You just hear that bow, like, digging into the string there. It, it, that's what makes the folk fiddle playing. Crescendos. Grace notes, slide ups. Yeah, these are the articulations that are going to make this thing work.
yeah, a whole range of uh, glissando effects. This is really cool. And then, last but not least, string, brushes, and scrapes. Okay, so that is just a look at all the articulations. Uh, we've got some advanced controls for the long attack time. Uh, poly long. So that's pretty cool because we could program MIDI CC for that and control it. And then we got a little bit of movement um, between uh, a long sustain and a tremolo sound. Check out the different verbs and the sound. That one really does suit the room there, or the, the fiddle there, that whoop hall too. Wooden room, that one sounds pretty nice. The studio is very similar. And then the giant room, four seconds tail. wrap it up here for this first look of the Folk Fiddle 2. I really wanted to spend some time with this, just get a feel for it. There are not a lot of multi-sampled instruments that can pull off this kind of style, this kind of sound. I think this is another fine instrument. I think I've shared my thoughts along the way. I'd love to hear what you think about this Folk Fiddle 2. Did you have the Folk Fiddle 1? What do you think about the difference for Folk Fiddle 2? This is kind of taking it up a notch with all new samples and tons of articulations. Lots of different sounds thanks to the microphone positions. Please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're not already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And head back around on Fridays for the weekly deal compressor show where we recap the latest new releases and sales offers that made our radar. <laughs>